The M6, not where you usually expect to see a former Merseyrail unit. Today, the restoration of the preserved Class 502 unit is making steady progress at the premises of the Merseyside Transport Trust in Bersco. But when the group first acquired the two coach set, things were a little different. Back when John McGoldrick, curator of the railways at the National Railway Museum, transferred ownership to the group in November 2011, we were still at the open air site at Tea Bay in Cumbria. The site was far from ideal, being some distance from the core of the restoration team and prone to vandalism. So when the MTT agreed to our request to join them at their new premises in Bersco, we set about readying the two coaches for the move south. To do the actual moving of the two coaches, we hired the professional team at Reed's Freight. Moves took place over the weekend of the 3rd and 4th of March 2012. The team from Reed Freight had arrived on site on the Friday to ready the two coaches for the move. On Saturday the 3rd, our team was split into two. One team setting up the track at Bersco, while the others assisted at T-Bay. At the compound where the unit was, it was easy for the guys from Reeds to build a ramp to haul the first of the coaches, the heavier motor coach, onto the low loader. With the ramp in place, the coach was carefully winched along the track and onto the low loader. Conditions at T-Bay were typically cold, but the team sold it on. To make life easier for the Sunday, at first the trailer and motor coaches were winched together. The trailer was then detached and the motor coach continued onto the low loader. With the motor coach now secure, the truck was carefully backed out of the compound. By now the rain had begun to fall, as the unit carefully negotiated the roads at T-Bay before heading out onto the M6. Our team headed out too, and chased the 502 down the M6, catching up with it several times.
The route to Bersko seems easy on paper. Straight down the M6 from Junction 38 to Junction 27. Then the A5029 and the A59 to the MTT's due premises. However, this route would have required a very steep descent down Parboard Hill. Not a very wise move with several tons of train on the back. To avoid this, the guys at Rees continue down the M6 to Junction 26, the Oral Interchange, then down the M58 to Switch Island, after which it was up the A59 to Bersko. With the unit safely at Bersko, the Reeds freight team ready themselves for the move into the shed. This would be a good example of the skill of the Reeds team, as they manoeuvre both the tractor unit and the 66 foot long train coach into the building. Height of the unit causing the 502 guys to have kittens as it went under the canopy. But this wasn't a problem, as the Reeds team simply lowered the trailer. With it now through the main doors, the low loader was manoeuvred to line up with the rails laid by the second team. With the ramp in place, it was time to winch the motor coach into its new home. However, it seemed reluctant to do so, so one of the MTT's vehicles 
was to give it a helping hand. Some of the 502 team enjoying a short cab ride as the motor coaches load onto the track. The next day, the scene was repeated for the driving trailer. With both coaches now in a new home, the work to restore the 502 began in earnest. The first sections of corroded steel were cut out and the rebuilding was now well underway. The small team bringing the 502 slowly back to life. <laughs> 